Here I have a good example, I think, of, of how important it is to read uh, your shot from behind, the 180 look, I like to call it. From the T uh, to the first bounce and second bounce, it's straight now. I've really aligned my shot uh, from that, that look. I used uh, my avatar, there's a... Uh, triangle at the bottom so it helps with that and I'm following the center line slightly inside here but I'm slightly inside everywhere so that's perfect and if we look at the the hole from here we see it's leaning towards the the right so it's actually going left from that side so what I'm gonna do is just make sure I'm outside here as uh, you see, my uh, shot view is a little bit behind the hole, behind uh, beyond the hole, and it's a headwind shot, so it's gonna compress, and obviously the ball is gonna not gonna roll that long, and that effect from uh, right to left is gonna be amplified. That's why I'm setting up right there. And now I'm gonna do my pull. Maybe I'll go back here. All my setup was done. C72, my shot view. 706 is the rollout. The 709 is the pull. So 71. Here, 90 degree look at the pull. It's really flat, so shouldn't be a problem. Ha ha, I forgot to change for 11 Powerball. From 701, 71, sorry, 2723. Well, at least this much more, a couple of clicks. Just like that. I'm glad I caught this. Or else you would have never seen that video. So that 11 Powerball comes in pretty handy. Slight adjustment, but can make the whole difference.